to tween in all light motion and this tutorial is for beginners and keep in mind I don't have premium so um okay so go into I I mean go into all light motion create a new project go to media and then import your body parts um I made um, another tutorial on how to separate body parts. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So if you want to go and watch that first, you can. Okay. I'm just um, importing the body parts here. Um, my light motion is a bit hard to use. I mean, like. When I first started it, I was really confused. Okay, so the most important thing, and I'm telling you, please do not miss this out, is the pivot point. Like, that is so important. If you don't use the pivot point, then when you try to tween it, yeah, that'll happen. So, if you want to, like, set your pivot point, Go into move and transform, go to the location, click on it again, and then this is your pivot point. Um, you can hide the body parts to see where the limb is. So the pivot point always goes on the limb or like the start of a body part. So this is what it looks when you put the body part on. Yeah. And then do the same with all the rest. I'm going to hide um, all of this so it's easier to see where the limb starts. Like the shoulder, it's here. And then the eyebrows could just be like in the middle. And then the hair goes at the top. Same with this one, the rear hair. And then the face could just be in the middle. And then on the head it goes like where the like where the neck is um, joined with. And then on the belt and um, it goes here. For the um, leg it's here, like the foot. And the thigh goes here at the top. I can't really see that well. So you can change the background too if you want. But I'm not really going to do that right now. And then for like the torso it goes here. And then for the second foot it's like the same. Thigh. And same with the arms, so just do that with all of them. For the ponytail, if you have two ponytails, then you could put it on the middle. But if you have one ponytail, then like put it on the ponytail. So I'm going to put it in the middle here. And then you can make all the body parts visible again okay so the next thing is grouping so you would want to group your um, parts together so it's easier to find out where like the parts are so in order to group hold down this part and then scroll down so if you scroll down, it selects the body part. If you want to unselect it, then just click on it to unselect. And to group it, click on this group here. And make sure to set the pivot point again. And then your arm is grouped. Make sure to name it as well so like it's easier to find out where it is i'm gonna name this l arm which stands for left arm 
now I will group the face. So it goes down over here to the head. Group that. Name it head. Set a pivot point again. And you see how all the body parts move along with the head. If you want to edit it again, then click on it and then click on edit group and all your body parts will still be here. You won't have to set the pivot points again because it'll already be there. I'm going to name this belt. And then um, group this. Let me just hide this so it's easier to see. Okay, so that's the left leg. Okay, so just do this continuously with all the body parts. And I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, so now that I am done grouping them, you can group all of them together. And don't worry, it will save. And you can set the pivot point wherever you want. And then just name it. Um, and then you can save it as an element. So you can use it in another project whenever you want. So just click save to elements and like the whole character will move but if you go to edit group then the groups will still be there. So now the tweening part. If you want to tween then um, go to move and transform. Um, go to rotation or you can go to location. Um, it, it just depends on like how you want to move like do you want it to rotate or do you want it to like move so in order to do so go to the thing you want to like tween click on this diamond thing here which is also um, the key you can set a bookmark as well, so like you can see where you want to tween. Set a second um, diamond, and then the second diamond is where you tween. Okay, so you can do like that. You can also tween like in here. So I'll just tween this, and you can move that. If it looks a bit odd, then like you can always fix it you can zoom in as well and just fix this here okay and that's how it will look I'm just gonna do some more tweening here I'll make a time lapse of it so yeah I'll see you in another few seconds Okay, so this is my result. And you can also use like the graphs to make it like more smoother. Like that, you can use the graphs, the left arm, so it looks like that. Um, in order to make it look like a bit more like live 2D, then go to like the graph and then use this one. It's called um, the smooth one. And make sure to do it in all of the pivot points. Like, don't miss out on any. Because if you miss out, then it'll end up looking a bit weird. So, you yeah, just do it on all of them. Also, do it like inside the groups. So, just.
Okay, so this is how it looks with the graphs. It doesn't like, it doesn't fully look like live 2D, but it's close enough. Okay, so I hope um, this was um, simple enough to learn how to tween in all light motion. Sorry, my explaining isn't really that good. I'm not good at explaining and this video was not scripted. So, I honestly had no idea what I was saying throughout this video at all. So, yeah. Bye guys.